As a part of Orange build, I need to put this GPU cooling block on this wonderful Gigabyte motherboard. Motherboard and block both was provided by our sponsors and I would like to thank you Gigabyte for providing me with this X58 OC board which is latest and greatest board from Gigabyte and also Supreme HF the latest version number 3 with easy mount mechanism I haven't tried it yet so we'll see what it takes to get it on the board. Let's start with unboxing this HF block we all know what's inside it's not that new product by now the only part which is new is the mounting mechanism so let's see what uh, we selected here the version of the block that I'm going to use is a uh, plexi version because uh, we're going with a lot of bling bling factor with this build and I need to make sure that I have provision for LEDs so I can put uh, highlighting LEDs uh, with my UV reactive liquid so everything will be glowing orange and that's the plan but let's leave um, the block aside for a second and look uh, what is this about new mechanism thingy I never saw it myself so bear with me okay so that's obviously part to screw the block to the system set of springs okay all right I get it so basically we need to put screw through the board, mount this standoff and block will be mounted just on top of the thing right there. So not a biggie. Alright, so that was easy. So now I just need to take put board back and start screwing those uh, screws in place. Installation of the back plate is straightforward. You don't use a rubber part for LJ1366 which we have here. So all we need to put those spacers in the right position and put the uh, back plate and screw through. The only tricky part that will be here is when we put screws through the system is to make sure that they don't fall back and I usually have a bad luck with this so try to hold it and uh, just flip it back hey come on yeah good so another side we'll put some plastic washers through the screws I hope you can see it on the video and uh, it seems I'm missing one so I'll go and get uh, another washer from my spares can't find plastic one but I have this uh, paper one which same thing so it doesn't really matter so one next step will be to put those uh, standoffs in place just will get them a little bit It's a little bit spinning, but you can just start a little bit so they don't fall off and after that I will flip uh, the board and just screw them properly. Here I have my screws, they are all tied up, so it's ready to install water block, but before I do that I actually need to put CPU on, put thermal paste on it and then I can finish my block installation. I also like to show you how backplate looks. So this is an optional item, not mandatory, but it's always nice to have because it's redistribute pressure from those four screws for the larger area and it prevents motherboard from the excessive bending and possible damage. So it's always nice to have some supportive mechanism on the other side. Okay, as you see I installed CPU and also put my thermal paste and everybody do the method that they prefer to do and we're not discussing that. And next part is actually installation of the block itself. So what you need to do is uh, take it out of the package. And very important to take this protective film out. 
some people manage to install it right with this piece of paper not a good idea believe me so we'll peel it off and um, install the block it always works best for me to have uh, holes horizontally uh, there's lots of debate uh, how to do it but um, horizontal works always the lowest temperature in my own test so I just try to lower it more or less horizontally and um, just wiggle a little bit to help with um, paste to go more or less evenly okay and um, put screws I mean springs and I think those washers will help with putting screws in easier manner without shaving piece of um, metal okay you actually need to press a little bit to start the process you don't screw to the very end you just start it a little bit it's actually harder than I think okay here and uh, uh, see guys not everything is easy yeah oops part two okay so I have all four attached now what I do I will will tighten them to the end in a cross manner to the very end it was instruction says when you compress spring completely let's provide something like 7.8 kilos pressure which is optimal for the CPU I don't know is it true or not I usually did it by hand and just by my feeling of screws but in this particular case what you need to do you just go strictly to the end and I feel that that's it so I can't screw any more so basically it just went completely compress the spring okay and that's it we're done not much to do here so next step will be to install my memory and install my cooler for the memory but for this tutorial CPU is installed you can install your board on thank you for watching